T1's turn to ban. Thanks. I feel like it's pretty good. I mean, it's into Brood, and, you know, it gives you something at least. Ten seconds. That's true. I guess I'm kind of thinking about, like, buying time and stuff and, like, slowing down the Brood pacing so my Alchemist can play Dota. With the, with the Tide ban, you know, same idea. Axe? A Chalice Axe? That's a classic. That'd be kind of hype. Versus the Morphling, too. Ooh. Spicy. Uh, old school. You go Brewmaster and you just dispel the, the spiders. Alt and farm them. <laughs> dispel the flame guard. Yes. The brew game. Axe or beast. Uh, yeah, similar reasoning. Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. Beast. Definitely the easiest of the heroes left to play, I would say. Uh, and then we're... Pr uh, yeah, uh, then we're probably getting... I don't know, I'm having a hard time deciding between a DJ hero. I think like, DJ is going to play the Marana, and they'll just pick some, like, decent five for the game. We saw the Dubu Phoenix yesterday in their win. That was pretty nice. Five seconds remaining. I feel like the clock doesn't work that well versus a lot of these heroes. But that would be a classic like melee five to play with the morphling, the dubu lights. Or you just play it safe with a five, which they get like lich or something. Ten seconds no. remaining. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I know, but I mean like a like a real five. <laughs> Not like a, a clockwork spirit breaker. Like I mean clock's okay as long as the matchup's good, but you don't know what the matchup's gonna be. They can counterpick around it. Uh whereas Lich is just like always gonna have a good time. Radiant team and limit some of the picks that you can go for. I go for the snaps, and then they actually keep their options open. So they have uh flexible uh choices here between the Marana and the Snap. One either can be five or four depending on what they like. Chalice has a lot of time to decide here, though. You want it? You Ten think? Seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Bro. Wait. Do my eyes deceive me? Chalice played Nature's Prophet yesterday. No wonder they lost. That's crazy. He tried to go Spirit Vessel Nature's Prophet versus a Morphling. That is bold. I will give you that. Very bold. That's a hero we do not see. He went Spirit Vessel Blade Mill Ags. Yeah. Uh, that's a little wild. But yeah, he's going for the Legion. So there's that lockdown, some control with the other bands coming out. A classic versus the Broodmother as well. So not bad, considering how early the Brood was there. Uh, Legion making all the way through and not getting banned out. Despite uh, being one of the, the more classic ones people imagine. He's got that going for them here. But I gotta say, I am liking what Bleed have put together here. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. It's not right. That's amazing. These so talented guys. Is that with a, uh, a helpful mnemonic device? <laughs> Perfect. That's an acronym, I think. So, yeah. 
quiz with us. Uh, this game. Uh, will we be able to kill the spider? That will be the question. The last game, he went deathless. Uh, and then immediately after, Ace went deathless. That was our last experience with Broodmother on this stream. Uh, in both games, the hero did not die, took over the tower early, and completely dominated uh, the other parts of that. But those, if I'm not mistaken, were both radiant side Broodmothers. So instead, this will be the dire side. Uh, but all the same things can happen. Why does the dire side look so much nicer to control? I guess because of the camps and you move in and it feels a little bit nicer to farm. So I do think that the uh, the radiant side brood's a little I bit nicer. A, a fresh experience for us here with with a dire brood. Hmm. Yay! Wahoo! Yeah, it is. Of a pumpkin. Yeah. The stem dragging behind like a ninth leg. Used it yesterday. Two days ago. Yeah. He's wearing the I same wasn't one. watching. My bad. Clearly. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see how it goes for him today on the old Ice Dice Dice Brood Mother show. DJ going to try and get off to a hot start playing on the snap fire, giving some supporting fire as all of Azure Ray up on the cliff. Do they manage to take some away? Ooh, Chalice. Sneaky, begins. sneaky Chalice. Yeah, he's going to get zoned out there. So it will be Bleed. Taking three. Lul only got the one on the poor old Alchemist. DJ. DJ. Oh, DJ. Oh, Wait, oh. he missed. I can't believe he missed. Easy. Easy I can't live. He missed. Oh, I'm mean, loving uphill miss. Does DJ even want to be alive right now? Okay, he's going to salve and head back out to lane. Yeah, he's fine with this then. Okay. Huge. I mean, they use blood grenade too, so that's more space for Jackie up top. Yeah. Fair. Damn. Will be interesting Dubu to watch. already uh, securing the range creep with the, the arrow, the classic. Yeah, but you can see how fast Jackie uh, has to morph back down here and just work things out with the old regen. It, it is a bit down bottom. Hazardous. DJ, oh, yeah. oh my god, DJ planted a tree and then Lul ate it. Um, I think he was trying to drop a tree so that way he couldn't hit him with the uh stun, but that obviously did not work. Still secures a range creep there. Oh, he got the Tango E2, not even the Quelling Blade? Yeah. Oh, nice. That's excellent. That's a lot of regen. Lou is very happy right now. <laughs> God. Undying is just such an annoying hero. Uh, I feel like nobody's happy about this. Up top, a uh, little bit of space between the two. The camp is currently unblocked. So Dubu might need to get a body block in there. Has off sentries, tango salves. It's gonna be a very pricey courier coming his way as he throws another arrow to secure, secure the range creep. Just wants to keep FY away from these creeps uh, in that jungle camp. And with three leap charges, I, I could see him just like leaping in and, and going for this. He's going for the pull. Will he leap down and block? No, he's gonna let it spawn. Okay, so that one will be open. There is a big wave coming in, though, so maybe he's trying to pull for the, his own wave off of it. Uh, there's a chance, at least. Um, taking a look at, at mid, it was a little bit further ahead for Corden, who's going to try and go for a snipe there. No. I thought he maybe would try for a sleight of fist, like, bottle yeah. steal. But I think it was just too short. Yeah. I believe he was close. Still, a good start for Corden. 14 and 0 versus the 10 and 1. He's looking pretty up right now on this ember. Why? Chased away. Dubu connects it over. Yeah, it can be a career takedown here from DJ, though. Uh, it was empty as the concoction is balanced. Ice 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 gets the juke into the tree line. But DJ's not moving over in time to help out. It was close right. to maybe turning into something, but now they're just going to salve up on Lou. More definitely having a better time at this point than 
the alchemist on the opposing side. He's been pretty free with Dubu's solid supporting going on and not really any big pulls getting off from Chalice. Yeah, the, at least with the Undying, of course, he can sort of sacrifice all of his net worth into consumables. Just keep the Alk going so the loot doesn't buy any. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, still not having the easiest time farming. And uh, unfortunately for Azurei, not able to pressure too much onto Jackie. Despite, like, having this camp available, they're not really getting the damage. Uh, Chalice oh is farming God. just as well, though, at the very least. Yeah. No, that is definitely something that's going good for them. This this uh, Legion commander is having a good time of it. As Somnus taking a beating from Corden in the mid lane, they're going to even glyph the wave mid, so that way Corden can't get to the water rune in time. So instead, okay, he's going to have call. to head off to get the uh, bounty. Yeah, and there's no punish here onto Lou. In fact, TMing TPs, because he knows that they're going to try something on him, and instead, they're going to get aggressive. This will just be a harassment play onto Ice Ice Ice. They're not going to get this kill. Good damage. The Blood Grenade even forcing him back. So at the very least, he's not comfortable farming these creeps. It does not feel great for Ice 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 right now. A bit of an ambitious Blood Grenade, I feel. Nice. <laughs> yeah, but still, um, some good pressure and another round of it, too. DJ is who they're going to go on instead. Throw out the stun. Not able to do that much. And they're making these last hits a lot harder for Ice Ice Ice, who now has turned and decided to fight. And, well, they immediately take down that tombstone. DJ getting very low, dropping the spin web, but Ice 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 can't get close enough in time. And it is just going to be Ice 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 dropped. Yan Ming with the first blood. That's huge. I mean, DJ even sacrificing the cookie, right? In this classic matchup versus the Undying. He, t he goes in the lane, he keeps the point for the little shredder just so he can handle this tombstone, and they still get killed, and you don't have the offense potential of Fire Snap Cookie early on. That that's one tough thing about this matchup. Sometimes you'll see Snap get picked versus Undying, and they still don't get little shredder to like level seven or like eight, you know? Right. Because you just really don't want to give up the burst damage that you have, and it feels like Tombstone, you know, maybe doesn't have the most impact in the laning stage. But uh, that, that hurts to drop. Meanwhile, in the top lane, though, if things are going well for Azure at the bottom, top has been pretty nice. Been watching Chalice just run around here. He has the early chain mail, a couple of gauntlets, and he is just in this small camp. He's farming it up. He's uh, yeah, interacting with Dubu a lot. Unfortunately, he just lost his courier. That wasn't great. No. But uh, he is staying in their face and getting that gold to try to get this early blade mail up. Yeah. I mean, he's not going to be able to really put that much pressure onto Jackie in terms of denying out the Morphling farm, but at the very least, he's getting his. Um, which is what you want to see if you're a Legion. Dubu forces back FY. Should be able to secure that bounty rune. As FY gets it. And... Oh, oh, oh damage. Say so Sice turns to fight. Wants to do what he can. Getting the lifesteal off of that insatiable hunger. It's going to wear out pretty soon, oh. but he gets a little bit of separation. Another stun connects and dodging, dodging. 25 HP. Say Sice finds his way out of there. Radiant are I actually can't believe he survived that, considering the, the movement speed to health ratio thing, you know? Yeah. It was wild. Oh, my God. Just, oh, they find him. <laughs> John Ming caught sight of him. God, that was such a big wave coming in, too. Although DJ gets it now, at least. But, I mean, oh, he or might does he? get bullied. Because it's seven minutes. They want the wisdom. Tries to go Ten for it. going for it. He DJ. Tomb this. Oh, Corden right there, too. And Cookie. Got him. Now, that, units. that does mean that the wisdom rune is going to be given over to the mid and not the supports. But it's still probably fine. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> you know? Yeah, I mean, There's for Enchantress. To be said about that. They're not Enchantress. The, the Marana not feeling great about it. Well, at least he didn't drop Tombstone and give up that bounty, too. Because there were way too many, too many heroes for that to be intimidating whatsoever. <laughs> right. Uh, he's going to play Courier now and bring some boots down to loot. And Lou, I imagine, is going to be like, could you go do something else, maybe? Um, oh, sorry, those weren't Lou's boots. He was going in for Somnus. He is filling a bottle. Mm. 
Because, yeah, he actually does not want him bottom at this point. Uh, he still has a level advantage over Ice to Ice, so it's not too scary. Ice won't hit six first. That's definitely something that could go awry, is if he gets the nuke, but... Oh, mid! Look at that damage! Caught. Ooh. And he gets a shield rune. So the, the regen will be there. It's Cordant. Switching it over and coming back to lane. DJ tries to get away up on that high ground and manages to TP out. So nicely played by DJ to stay alive. Top. Can they get him? Oh, yes, they will. Nuts. Hand it over. Wow. Wait. Uh, Blood Grenade? Dubu following through. Gordon. It's slowed by the clap, but Dubu gets the double kill. Dude, Dubu is cooking. He's got arcanes. I can't believe he didn't get the duel. That happens. I, I thought I thought for sure that he uh, he was gonna at least win that. Trying like find the end of it here in the. Uh... Yeah, well, there you go. Tough, tough stuff. Uh, lucky for the lead at the very least. So Chalice's first pressure doesn't go too hot. Uh, still second in the net worth, but of course now to. Uh, that Morphling is now bottom. Lou and Ice's Ice continue to battle out. Ice very close to six. Look at Gordon. <laughs> oh my and god. And Somnus, too. He's lurking. This is a big stack of uh, creeps being taken in the meantime. If they can connect on Ice Ice Ice, this is good. But the fact that they're all just sitting there and they farmed up like a. It was almost a five stack, I think, from Bleed. It's pretty nice for the Ember. Yeah, Somnus was really hoping that Ice was going to get aggressive there. Like, he was waiting for him to hit six, start bullying the Alchemist. He was going to go in for the roll, but he doesn't find it. So he's just jungling his way back to mid. It doesn't mean that FY is catching the waves mid, but they also are seeing this Eng do this and think like, okay, Pango is looking for a play. You know, he's not going to jungle the same way as an Ember. And well, now then. the rune. Oh, my God. He takes it. The haste stolen away. And now wanting to make some play happen. Gordon. Out there, almost got enough, but not quite. Wow. No, nothing has gone Somnus's way over the last couple of minutes. He, he has really just been stuck. Yeah, they have a, a ward that is spotting where the uh, the Ember is moving, but they cancel their plans. They start rotating back towards the mid lane and said, again, another ward will see this. Yeah. So Somnus hopefully won't get cooked. He might get cooked though. Oh. Let's try. Root, arrow. Oh, we oh. walked back into it. Do they have the damage, though? It's hard to get the kill. And in the end, he will go down. DJ brings down Somnus. I mean, all this time is pretty huge for the Alk to sort of be free farming, but he can't afford for it to be only the Alk with farm in this game. Another cookie on his chalice here, man. Oh, the ulti? Oh, all right, all right. Relax, DJ. Relax. I mean, I know you're the guy, but, like, come on. A little bold. A little bold. <laughs> A little crazy right there. Well, still a ways away from the Radiance. But you can imagine Alk would love to feast on those spiders if he gets a chance. Well, we'll have to see if FY can get out of control again here, too, on this Enchantress, though. The last match we had with him, whew, he was getting farmed, getting some space, chucking out some big empty shots. Yep. Well, he's not going to get farmed like cursed, that. <laughs> Jackie uh, immediately kills him. And Ice 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 able to run away. No concoction stun. Jackie keeping this catapult alive as the next creep wave comes in. Bleed is putting pressure everywhere. And more stacks. Gordon definitely looks like the, the big problem, too. Like, I'm like scared to be fighting this Ember right now. Yeah. He's almost level 10. He just, he's just looking like he, he wants to run this game. He's feeling very confident in his moves. This is this is looking like a good game for Bleed. This is exactly what they needed to do. And there really has not been a response uh, from Azure Ray. Everybody's just kind of AFK farming. No moves around the map. They, they, they seem kind of stuck. That's okay as long as they don't lose bottom. 
Like, as long as Lou can just sit here and do this, this feels pretty good. Unfortunately, that time is coming soon, right? I just imagine a rotation is going to come down from Bleed. They're going to sweep through. They want to get this tower. Lou kind of senses it as well. Uh, and you know what? He doesn't even need friends. Ooh. I tries to do it on his own, but then he loses all the spiders. So maybe he should have brought some friends. Yeah, maybe. Let's set one of those out. Mid lane starting to get pressured a bit. They're still smoked up on Ember in mid. Tian Ming, a tasty target if they want to go on him. A 13-minute Lincoln Sphere as they immediately find Tian Ming. Going to take down that zombie house. Not quite, actually. Somnus makes the move over. They bring in Lul, too. So Dubu dies, but they bring everybody. And are they going to take this tower? I... Yeah, they lose bot the spiders uh... because of this. Yeah, I don't... I mean, they're going to get some good damage in. But the Sleight of Fist, Lou is dropping lower and lower. They have to Jeez. back out. He only has five armor, dude. That is scary. Versus the Orb of Corrosion. I mean, they, they're going in Orb of Corrosion. It was a medallion on Snapfire. And then also he has a Maelstrom at, at 13 minutes. Like, I think Azure Rare, they're coming on too quickly for Bleed. Holy shit. Is a whistle. That's another three stack, four stack of ancients. Chalice's blink is going to be when uh, they have their next moment here to try and get aggressive, try and go in, smoke up, jump somebody, drop a tombstone, and take that mid tower. That would be the best possible situation, I would think, for them right now. Of course, Lou's uh, Radiance is also the next big one, but I think you can go make some plays without him right now. Just use Somnus instead with the uh, Diffusal Blade. Maybe Jackie little, is a looming threat, though. He's really looking hot this game. He's got himself this Lincoln Spear, so he's going to be really hard to handle, right? Because they have dual, and that's kind of it. That is their big control. Unless you're going to hit these bounces over and over, he's not going to die during a concoction. His armor is ridiculous anyway, so the, the damage from Lou is not really threatening. No, I, I mean, it's, I am... Th this is a game where... Lincoln's is done for Morphling and almost Aghanim's before Lou gets Radiance. Maelstrom done on Ember into Lincoln's. Like, it, they are just, they're so farmed on Bleed. They're behind 4K with an Alchemist. That can't be good. <laughs> Possibly the most annoying. Oh, here, here's the big smoke, though. This is the blink. This is what we're waiting for. The blink into duel, into tombstone, take mid tower. But they know what's coming. If I know what's coming, they do. Oh, the leap. Dubu. Dubu. He does die to the duel. So they manage to get that. What can Azure Ray get with this? Can they, they take down this mid tower? Uh, Tian Ming raised the dead. It doesn't look like it. They, they don't feel confident with it. No more duel. Too scary versus snap it's too free of a take meanwhile down bottom chalice jumps on him he has no duel he, he's just bluffing ice, ice knows ice, it ice just turns to fights is fine take me cordon backs away they are still incredibly farmed like you're talking about for you know the pango the the legion and the alk need that blink dagger though for lul I feel like they missed a bit of a window on Bleed, where Corden was really strong, had a big level advantage, Dubu was kind of rolling. I, I thought I was going to see some more like smoke throughs and plays and syncing up with the Broodmother, but they really left Ice on an island, which can be good, but I feel like they could have just like flexed their power a little bit more. I feel like they could have actually bullied Lou right. uh, to, to try and weaken him even further. But because uh the way they're playing instead, it has made it easier for Jackie to get this lead, I would say. There's yeah. less risky moves uh, across the whole map. Things are more stable. The little bits of pressure that they're applying in p its places are causing smaller movements. So that it's less likely that Azure Ray are going to do some big thing. And they're going to run right into Tian Ming grabbing an Observer. Observe this. Uh, uh, watcher. Damn it. Watch this. Oh, that would have been so much better anyway. Right. Watch this. Next time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's like a Disney movie or something. Well, they actually, do manage to kill Ice 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 down bottom with uh, the duel. Does not get the victory fully there but they bring in more numbers and so one objective taken in the, the spider being squashed but another being taken and bleed getting another tower no towers taken yet for azure ray you just had to say it huh what's that <laughs> he just denied mid <laughs> oh yeah 
So then there's one. <laughs> yeah. There is the Battle Alk coming online. So we got Blinking Alk. We got Blinking Legion. And we have Mantapango. <laughs> He's not going for the Blink. He's going to leave it to those two. He'll just follow up instead. Well, we'll see. You know, maybe he just goes back for the Blink. Maybe they get a little bit crazy right now. As the Pavis is picked up here from Dubu. As he fires an arrow into Roche. As he said, this he can hit his eyes closed. He's that good at Mirana. An early Solar Crest into a Roche take. And it's not that quick, though. Now with Ice getting here, it'll go a little bit faster. Um, but... Azure wanting to instead pressure down bottom with Skelly Army, which is coming in fast and furious. Another great movie that we talked about earlier. As they will glyph it. But Aegis on Jackie. And he is 267 gold away from that Aghanim Scepter. It's coming up fast. Uh, what are the main benefits of the Alchem or the, uh, the Aghanim Scepter this game, guys? Uh, well... He's going to ruin their one big hero. That That is definitely true for the Alchemist. But even just like Chalice, right? I feel like Chalice is kind of the hero who you're, you're also a little bit concerned about. And he's going to be more in your face. You can ruin his life. Uh, yeah. Mango is, of course, a universal hero. And they're not really going to have any way to deal with this because they're not getting Lincolns early. And even Lincolns isn't a, a safety net from the Ags. Oh. No, it's not. Uh, trying to play around their vision here, though, Azure, and they are going to head into a good spot. Arrow comes in from downtown. Doesn't manage to connect. They obviously had Chalice for the press of the attack after. And now start to head forward. Moonlight Shadow drops it down. Ooh! With the jump away. They will not see him stun himself. Actually, they <laughs> do have a ward down. No, they have a ward down. They see this. But it's nighttime. He doesn't see that there was a ward there. They jump forward, want to get under Lul. They got him. Arrow, everything dropped. He is gone. Just like that. I will say that press the attack was insanely well timed by Chalice. You see that? It was like, yeah. the, it's like the arrow didn't even stun him. Yeah, it was good. That was kind of crazy. Well, Bleed in a pretty good position right now. With Aegis in hand, what can they do with it? Oh, well, Eight. lose somebody. Jump in, get the dual win. Get greedy there. Yeah, definitely. Especially with like... Jackie. Huh. He's playing it pretty safe here, huh? Yeah. Going right for the BKB after. He's just being a nuisance this game. I like to see him copy into the Pango too, right? You get the eggs effect. All right. Pretty sweet. Not a lot of other great ones to grab here, unfortunately. I mean, I guess the Undying, that's kind of hilarious. Oh, it's true. The eggs that early. He has max decay already too, so you'd be stealing eight every time. Right. But we all know the main benefit is weakening the opponent, so you hit the cores. True. Um. They are thinking about a fight up here, though, which is interesting, or at least keeping this tower alive. Swashbuckle, but the waveform away. Can they do anything to him? Like, there's four of them here, and they just run. Yeah, I, mean, I, think... I, I know, like, TPs will come in and stuff, and he is an Aegis, but without that even, I, I feel like this is a very daunting task. I think Jackie is going to be the strongest hero in this game for a very long time. And you know what's crazy? There's a spider in this game. Yeah. I didn't, you know, I know you guys might have forgot, but Brood does exist right now. Oh, Lul. Do they have what it takes to catch him here? He goes down to the low ground to farm. Hello, sir. Nice to see you. Does manage to get the ulti off, but it won't matter. He drops too quickly. And Timmy finishes the TP. If only he could be there for the grab ally. It's not going to happen. Oh, grabs himself. And immediately turns on to it, blows it up. Okay. Might be in more trouble as the arrow goes out. It connects Jackie on a killing spree. They they just don't have an answer for this morph for any of these heroes. When he shows up, they just have to run away. Well, especially when the fight starts off pretty much as poorly as it possibly can. Yeah. Uh, FY next on their list. Gordon being slowed down by the creep wave. But there's a cookie. Oh, nice. Poor stack, keeping him up here. 
<laughs> even gets the hurricane back. Uh, he, he's actually trying to set up a little bit here. This is, FY is getting spicy. A little feisty, even. It's trying to get him away from their racks down bottom. Yes. <laughs> they were taking some of that earlier. I say, I say, it's now back to farming. Bleed very much. Um, it feels like in control with this age. Just I want to see if Azure Ray feel confident going out and making any moves once the Aegis is down. It still feels like Jackie probably doesn't die barring some big mess up. Yeah, that's part of the benefit of this Aegis. Like, even though they're not playing super aggressive, he's going to have a BKB thanks to it. Well, yeah. Town Mang just going to feed one away here. Wrong place, wrong time as he tries to get some vision down for his team. And Corden going to pick up the boots of travel right now. Really choke out this map. At least that's what he's considering. Hmm. Doesn't feel like uh, he needs a whole lot else. And you know what? When you have spiders everywhere, you got a lot of options to TP to. Yeah, that's true. Makes it nice. And speaking of which, they're spreading out all over the map. Smoke up with three. They went through the gate. Going to try and find Ice 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 on the backside. Legion heading together with Pango and Enchantress. Can they find anybody, though? I will say, I think Bleed have used like all their smokes. They're going to rely on Moonlight Shadow for a while because they smoked three times just like back to back to back to get this map control. Yeah. Uh, but that's the benefit of Mirana, obviously, is that you can still get these moves throughout the map. And Azure, they need the smokes to try and handle getting through the vision of these spiders. Well, another tier two tower taken down as Bleed control this game. There are less and less places for them to farm. And as you're right, being behind on an elk does not feel good. He also bought blank and then instantly got ganked and died in the hot tub, which was a really yeah. bad uh, timing. You know, he was hoping to yeah. try and get something back for his team with that connection. Okay, good nice for staff. Jackie <laughs> turns into the other side of it. Now immediately trying to take down Lul. Ice 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 turns onto Tian Ming, goes inside his own tombstone, but DJ is there, blows up the tombstone. Jackie still chasing for more and finding more, as a matter of fact. He is way too strong. And Lul gonna just try and TP out of there. The arrow was right on target, but creeps were dodging. Getting in the way. Gets himself some farm instead, so it's okay. Yeah. Oh, that is tough. Wow. I mean, you're picking this uh, strength hero, so it's not as nasty when you get copied, obviously, compared to the universals. But I mean, you're still losing like 400 max HP, and then still, you know, a lot of your damage there too. The status resistance. Yep. Yeah. For, with 40 percent. Yeah. It's, uh, it seems kind of nuts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Somnus. Going kind of into no man's land. Ice 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 kills Tian Ming, finds Somnus, and he will manage to get out of there, killing some spiders on his way out. Just duel them, lol. Uh, you know? True. Come on, Chalice. Just save uh, this whole game for your team somehow. FY. Cookie in. Got FY found. Turns to fight. FY says, fine. Let's battle. Luo is running down Corden. This actually turning into a decent engagement, although Chalice looks right into one of those arrows, and Somnus able to find the kill on Snap, but bottom, there's always something being given up. They take the Tier 3 tower with ice. <laughs> uh, the Roche timer does pop for us here. It's uh, 120 left to go. Okay. And they are in a position where they might be able to get this on Azure, right? It, it's possible. They, they have the items. They got this mobility. They really need to find a smoke duel, though. I feel like it's the only chance. They have to get a duel onto somebody. And then, unfortunately, it's probably going to be taken during dire time, assuming that they're well on this as bleed. Not going to keep back. God, cool. Takes a lot of damage there. Jackie pops his BKB, walks away. That okay. is about the best you could hope for if you're Azure Ray. Yeah, because he just used the morph as well. Uh, and, you know, we are at least uh, not going to have to fight the BKB if you're Azure. They could try some sort of a play back there. Unfortunately, Ice Ice just keeps this pressure coming bottom. He's massing these spiders down here. Yeah. And so Chalice is stuck, and they need him to fight. 
Right. He has to be there. It's tough. Um, all right. Well, Roche back up in 15. And, I mean, Corden can get all over the map whenever he needs to. They're going to see that that creep is there. Probably take it out quickly. And now maybe check out Roshan. Although, DD, Manta out. It's Illusion with Arrow. Backs away. Kisses. Dude, they keep on using these big spells. <laughs> that play is very annoying this game. He has done a great job on this edge. He's been kind of playing his own game a lot of the time, though. Looks like he hasn't had a, a lot of good teamfight opportunities here. He's going to catch that next wave. He's trying to play it off here. Chalice looking, hoping, wanting something. Arrow out. Will connect. Soul rip this Lincolns. Looking for it. Soul rip the Lincolns. Is. Jump forward. Duel. They got him. But he's already shifted over form. Will it matter? Wait. Can they take him down? No, they will not. Ice 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 shows up at the perfect time. FYI trying to dole out a lot of this damage. Lul finally shows up. It's his stun onto two. The disarm is there. Chalice tries to make this fight happen. But will they have enough to get away for Corbin there? And Lul. Everybody retreat. Bleed is very low, but not dead yet. They, they need FYI to carry. Get him in there. Ice 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 turns. Lifesteal is strong. Lul turn upon two a couple more hits starts to fall they take off the stun tries to go on in for the moonlight shadow and somnus he overstepped slightly gets punished in a big way little now in trouble the buyback coming from the pango fy duels back in five will get caught as it looks like bleed maybe can take this they're they're very low on resources yeah and they're they're TP right, back. Come back yeah the problem is, you know, they have to fight this as Azurei. You just cannot give this up. Right. But everything's coming back. There's no Alchemy Gibby for 30 seconds. That's probably the worst parts of it. Spiders will be scouting to say, like, hey, they're not in there yet. They're going to begin with the Acid Spray. They send in Lou. I He's think not they super need to get in this. there. I mean, the problem is they don't know that the rest of the team is not here for Bleed. Corden, the only one that's nearby, Slide of Fist backs out. But they're not taking Roche. So this gets enough time for the rest of Bleed to have their resources refilled and can come back for the fight. But look at this. It's now going to be Radiant Side. So that's good news. True. All right, we made it 30 minutes. They're going to have the TPs. Uh-oh. Ice, Ice, Ice. Couldn't get there. Uh, Lou? Lou's not with Lou. him. Lou. Lou. Oh. That hurts. All right. Uh, TPs down bottom. Wait, what, Jackie? This is such clown shoes, dude. Dude, Jackie just went through. They're crazy. Oh, my God. I mean, he's big Amy Lincoln. They can't kill him. I guess. I mean, the DJ TP'd, so I thought the rest would, too. But they just went through the portal. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. He's at full Lotus Pool here. DJ, the pool boy, cleaning it up right now. That's what you want to see. Gordon gets bash. Oh, oh, don't catch the arrow. Thinking about it. God, you have to be so careful as Chalice trying to play around this with the freaking Heaven's Halberd and then trying to find a duel after. And DJ almost has Lincolns as well. Is there already dealing with one on Ember and Morphling? Oh. The plus side is that having Ember around, Bleed kind of have Azure Ray in a chokehold. Because they yeah. can still farm while everybody has to be committed from Azure Ray. <laughs> Look at the angle they're taking. They're smoking yeah. up. They're trying to wrap all the way around here. And it's Jackie. That's the first point of contact. Maybe not. No, it's DJ. No, they nice. get him. Duel out. Is it enough, though? Arrow connected, and they kill him. So it's much done. gold and no buyback. Oh, that is what you need if you are Azure Ray. They find DJ. Kill him off, too. Dubu does manage to get away, but that's Aegis. And they are getting an Aegis and a Cheese. All right, Azure, a little bit of life in this game. It took a long time. They gave up a lot of map control, a lot of gold, but they're getting a little bit of a rebate here mm. in the form of this. Finally, I mean, think about it, like, stuck in their face for the longest time, hard to get out anywhere, trying to find these plays. And they eventually get something for it. Will it be enough? And that's the question. I don't know. I, you, you just have this like weird dynamic where it's mainly Alk that's farmed, and then this like tricore of bleed, which is terrifying, and then also a snapfire with the Lincolns. Like I don't know. I, I 
they being down 7k on an alchemist if they can manage to win this game for azure that would be crazy the angle was perfect i mean everything yeah. lined up for them it was daytime they smoked around they found exactly where the morphling was hiding and then very well executed from chalice with the blink halberd duel double like, wisdom can't run. uh can't get much better than that gotcha. Did wow. you say double wisdom rune for lou yeah oh, he's level 20 goodness. now that's kind of huge actually That is quite the thing that happened. Um, I mean, maybe they just group around Lua now with this Aegis. He, he might just start going to town. Yeah, I think they want to get two racks here. Or maybe just find some kills. And this is where the uh, the Lincoln's build on the Ember and the Boots of Travel does come back to, to bite you just like a little bit, right? Yeah. Like the damage is already kind of low because Morphling went for uh, Lincoln's BKB. It was just it was defensive items all around. I still think they're in control of this game. I still think everything looks uh, pretty fine. I'm not really concerned. I still think the itemization was good. It was just really well ex yeah, executed by Azure. I think like winning that fight, like first off delaying the top Roche and then actually getting the bottom Roche were both incredibly difficult. Like yeah. they have outplayed the nice itemization of Bleed. Yeah, no, they have. And Azure Ray wanting to try and retake this area as they've taken two tier two towers. Uh, they can definitely just go through top again. I almost wonder, like, if if Lua walks high ground with it mm -hmm. undying behind him with Tombstone, how do they kill him? I, I don't know if they can. The flip side to that, obviously, is, like, Snapfire is scary, but I don't know. I think the problem is that no matter what he does, he just gets uh, replicated. Yeah. Because like, it's just free, you know? That right. part's a little bit difficult. Uh, what I do like is the Blink Dagger for Somnus. He quit. Okay, never mind. He he had Blink queued up. And I was thinking, you know what? That way they can actually kill the Morphling. Because if he just gets the Blink roll, then there's a decent chance that Chalice can find that uh, that opportunity to get the cancel again. He doesn't get off the BKB and stuff. But I guess they're saying, like, hey, if I can Blink roll him, why don't we just Blink uh, help or duel him, so fair enough. Uh, Lou gonna get stunned here as uh, Cordy gets broken by the creeps. Well, Chalice comes in, but obviously gonna be too late. Oh. 7k gold lead still being held by Bleed. And Aghanim's done for the Pango. Yeah, trying for it. Scale more into that you know, becoming another core so it's not just all Alk doing the damage. And uh, very annoying for uh, a hero like Snapfire, too. Like that chance of getting bashed up because you're kind of like a middle of the fight hero. Uh, you, like, right. you like to be on the outskirts of with your ulti, but you also want to be in the mix there for the cookies as well as like chucking glimmers and this Lincoln Spear on your allies. So those random stuns. Gonna be difficult to deal with here. Is uh, well, they're gonna do your setup here. I'll go high ground. We stand back here. As glyph number one it. is used, but a reset, of course, is there if they were to take the tower. But they just run. Okay. Force a reaction. Bleed back in base. Playing it safe on Azure. They need to get a wall of wards up here and let Chalice uh, have his chance. So th this is their high ground ward. Chalice, like he's just lurking. He's just hoping someone will become vulnerable to this. Right. It is a really crazy. interesting, I, I think, play by Azure Ray, and it speaks to the experience that they have of just like, it feels like they're they're trying to wait out bleed, wait for them to make a mistake, and only play on those punishes. Yeah, I think a lot of teams would have smoked right there. Uh, yeah. And, and gotten kind of greedy, because they were standing there in an aggressive spot holding smoke, but instead they decided to back. They're not entirely sure where bleed is, because they all rotated around the map right now. Uh, right. They know that bottom is pushed in, so they're just going to hold up. They don't have a whole lot of smokes to work with, so they don't want to burn one. Just going for a uh, slightly risky play right near the base. <laughs> Find more and more time. And Lua actually going for the Aghanim Shard next. Don't know if he's going to end up buying that or not. Also but actually all... leveling the uh, corrosive weaponry this game. Unlike yeah. Oh. Yeah, that part was interesting. Freaking FY is going for a sheep stick next if you can get it. So is uh, Undying. Dude, they're they're gearing really? up for the late game. 
Interesting. That's a bold attempt on an undying. I feel like you might just want to like buy drums. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like <laughs> Yeah. Maybe he'll get there. It is crazy if he gets there, obviously, but it's also into three Lincolns, so that kind of right. feels bad. No, it's it's a very I, I mean, I think Azure Ray play this game with, you know, all the experience that they have on this roster in a very different way than a lot of other teams do. See if it's a way that gets them a win. I just. Right. Uh, Tormentor's up here. Chalice does have the best item for this game with the ninja gear. Becky, thought about going. Stun is out. You know, speaking of like different play styles and doing weird things, the the difference between Lull and Pog is very small. Um, <laughs> Changes Palos on found out earlier, you know. <laughs> just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it could just be one creep wave. It's all the difference. But a moonlight shadow and ready to head out again. Enchantress very close to the sheep stick. Uh, if wanting to just buy out for that one fully, and then dying uncues the sheep and goes into wards instead. Sad state of undying. <laughs> Someone saw. Yeah. I was like, bro. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, maybe a halberd. Do they still have a gem? They do. Okay. So FY still holding it. Dire. I know they had one earlier. Yeah, it's still on uh, Dubu. Okay. So we got gems on both sides. Clearing out these wards across the map. Chalice constantly lurking. Mm -hmm. With this ninja gear. Hex also oh, done on Brood, so they have another uh, way to go for those uh, jump-ins if they want. I says I started this game zero three zero. Yeah. Now moved, you know, it's it's the game's gotten better since then. All right, Ango still sitting with the cheese as Jackie ready to walk high ground. As the Daedalus completed, starts punching it. Get over here, Fy lives and. Say nice, nice. That's the BKB use. Chalice there with the press the attack. Oh, Jump oh, in, oh, duel. Cool. Finds him. Okay, this is not going the way that they wanted it to. They keep him in place. BKB out. Now the run and roll and trying to get away. And Lul gets four staff, keeping him alive. They have the tombstone down, so if people need to get saved, they can. Jackie bouncing back and forth. Cookie to get away. And well, Corden runs in. Huge damage out onto Chalice. Lu dropping somewhat low, so is FY. The minus armor is insane. They find him, chase him, gonna kill him off, but the save comes out from Undyne in the back. And forth we go again. Chalice re find back into this and gain the press the attack off. They manage to get out after the two buybacks. Oh, and the no vision allows DJ to just TP out invis there. They can't catch him in time. Yeah, that damage is absurd. Morphling, Morphling uh, becoming the Alchemist and then just non-stop slights. Five slights thrown out there in that fight. 6,200 damage there from the Ember. Double buybacks. And no victories here. They immediately run up top. Uh, they're going to pass through towards the Roche. Okay. Maybe they get something here. I mean, if they could get it, this is all worth it now. Azure Ray make the big to. move. Because Pango bought eggs. Do we sprink? Yeah. I think we're sprinking. Although I mean, the we... chalice duels are very important, oh. but he's getting halberded. Oh, Ice 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 is moving in. They see now the spiders, the spears they see. Azure Ray, can you take this in time? Corden ready to zoom on through. Has oh, a big arrow. guard ready to go. Arrow goes out. The hex comes as well. Tries to make it play. They're taking Grab it down. The kisses, it's all there. Trying to grab an ally. Somnus, Roche is not down low enough yet. They're going to be able to move in and take it. Bleed gets it, and that's Aghanims for them instead. Sad days for Azure Ray as they keck on the route and Chalice. Ah. Uh, well, you know, these things happen, Trent. I, I thought he might win that one. He thought so, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then Brood started hitting him. Brood, who got the Aegis and is currently top net worth in the game. Holy moly. Or got the Aghanim, sorry. Yeah. 
Yeah, stole that away there. So we got Spinner Snare to contend with. And the last gasp of Azure is, is snuffed out here. I bleed. Yeah. What a game from them. I mean, what a draft, honestly. I we came into this. There were two heroes that, well, three heroes, Morphling, Medusa, and Brood. I didn't think we'd see. And somehow we wound up with two of them on the same team. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Um, and it ended up happening. And now Bleed looking to close this one out. Now there is some FY split push. Look at him go. FY yeah, is like, nice. guys, I'm going to do it on my own. Just hit yeah, the way. Get that tower. No, don't look He's, here. Just, oh, he oh, stopped. <laughs> he got the tower. The buybacks come. Alchemist back to be back up. Ice 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 inside of the ancient and gg is gonna be called believe